how to still personalize the home decor signs on Etsy. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your own products using this platform. So let's get started first by explaining the platform for you. So guys, Etsy.com is a platform where you can sell your own products or where you can buy the other sellers products. So as you can see in here, we have a lot of products and a lot of sellers making a lot of money from selling these products so in this video i'm going to show you how you can be one of those or these sellers so first before that i'm going to show you one of these product pages or the shop pages as we call it in etsy.com so here in today's video i'm going to show you how you can set a shop page your own shop page exactly like this one how you can add the photos of your product or the pictures of your product how you can set the price how you can set also the details and description color single or pair the options i'm going to show you also how to add the product details and the product de description as well so I'm going to show you all of that in this video and I'm going to show you also how to set the shipping and return policies. So let's just close this tab and let's go to the main page, go to the, to the top right, click on the shop manager button, then you will proceed to setting up your Etsy shop. So here in order to set your Etsy shop, you will need to go through six steps, starting with the shop preferences then you will go through naming your shop then stock in your shop then you will choose how you'll get paid and then you will set your payment processes and your shop security so let's start from the first one which is the shop preferences so here we choose the shop's language the shop's country and the shop's currency so i'm just going to change the shop's currency from the moroccan dirham to the United States dollar then click on save and continue to proceed to the next step which is name in your shop so here we're going to choose a name for the shop and this is the name so I'm just going to remove the spaces between words and then I'm going to shorten the name to be between 4 and 20 characters so let's see what we can remove so it's now good but it's already taken so you can choose from these options or you can just add a number to the name and there it is it's unique now then click on save and continue to proceed to the next step which is stock in your shop so in this step you will add some photos and details about your item fill out what you can for now you'll be able to edit this later so before moving to adding the photos and details first click on save and continue to see all of the required fields to fill so as you can see here the first required one is the photos so you will need at least to upload one photo then we have the inventory where you will need to enter the price of your product then you have the listing details you will need to fill all of these read fields then last we have the shipping and so you will need to fill these read fields so let's just start from the first one which is photos so here add as many as you can so as you can see every detail use up to 10 photos to show your items most important qualities and for some tips, use natural light and no flash. Include a common object for scale. Show the item being held, worn, or used. Shoot against a clean, simple background. Add photos to your variations so buyers can see all their options. Then we have the video. Bring your product to life with a 5 to 15 second video. It could help you drive more sales. The video won't feature sound, so let your product do the talking. And for some quick tips, film wearable items on a model or show a functional item being used. Adjust your settings to record high resolution video. Aim for 1080 pixels or higher. 
crop your video after you upload it to get the right dimensions and if you want to learn how to make videos that till you can just click on this link then we have the listing details so here make sure to give your product a good title then you answer these three questions who made it and what is it a finished product or a supply or tool to make things let's go with the finished product when did you make it you have three categories to choose from not yet made recently or vintage let's go with recently between 2020 and 2023 then you have the category so here just type your product's name and you have a lot of categories to choose from so let's go for this one then here you'll have some additional details to fill like the material of the product the primary color secondary color with height depth illuminated sustainability shape orientation and so on and all of those are optional so i'm just going to skip them for later then we have the renewal options so here if you want to go for an automatic renewal which costs 20 cents each time or if you want to go with the manual renewal which is free so for me i'm going to use the manual renewal then we have the type of the product if it's a physical product or a digital product so in this case it's a digital product then we have the description so in order to write a good description guys make sure to start with a brief overview that describes your item's finest features shoppers will only see the first few lines of your description at first so make it count not sure what is to say shoppers also like hearing about your process and the story behind this item then we have the production partner if you have any you can add them in here then we have the inventory and pricing here put the price of the product and then we move on to uploading the digital file that we're going to sell so here you can upload the file by clicking on this plus button you can upload the file and you can upload up to five files in this digital files and then last but not least we have the returns and exchanges policy and as you can see there are no returns or exchanges because the digital products you can't return them they are digital so here when you're done with filling all of these details click on save and continue to proceed to the next step and that's it guys for today's video don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends